what type of water fed pole is right for your window cleaning business. What's up, I'm Keith Kelfis and I'm at Detroit Sponge. I'm at Detroit Sponge in Wixom, Michigan, the window cleaning tool store. They sell all over the country, they ship. But anyways, we're gonna talk about uh, pure water technology, water fed pole systems and all that. And I'll put the links to those videos in the description of this video. But in this video specifically, we're gonna talk about the water fed poles and Mike is gonna give us a demonstration. And Shoot. All right. <laughs> so I get a lot of questions about water fed poles. It's obviously a growing market and people, you get on the internet and you find a lot of information. You find out about poles that are made of different materials. You find different lengths of poles and, and then different types of the carbon that's used even inside of those poles. So I'm just going to break it down real quick and talk a little bit about our Gardner line that we sell. Gardner is a widely used pole in uh, England, one of the most popular poles over there. His line is uh, pretty well uh, broken down between the compositions. So all of the water fed poles are designed to be able to take your pure water all the way up to the glass. They're all going to have a hose, they're all going to have a brush at the tip. There's a whole bunch of different choices for angle adapters. Where they differ is kind of the composition of the poles. So the Gardner line has a composite line, they have a carbon fiber line, and then they have their high mod carbon fiber line. So that really means what the pole is made of, right? That's the composition. The first one that we'll start talking about is one of their uh, best sellers, but it's, a, it's more of their basic line that's the carbon fiber composite that's made of fiberglass and carbon fibers blended together. This is the longest that they make it, it's 27 feet, but it gives you a much better functionality and rigidity than you would get with an aluminum pole. All of the sections on all the gardeners are gonna telescope to where they simply just pop the lever, slide it open, put the lever in place, can be clamped at any place along. So obviously there's a bunch of yeah. sections there. I like the one, I have the uh, 25 footer, mm -hmm. and I love that feeling of when it closes, it's like, it's like uh, secure. Yeah, very secure. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't feel like it would break or anything. But. Well, and all the all the gardener poles are designed with the same diameter. So really, you can add to these sections to get them up a little bit further too. So maybe you buy something. This is a 27 footer. It's the largest that their CLX, which is their red line, uh, come in. So that gets used for most houses. But let's say you have these and it's working out great. But then the one house you get has a, a step off or a sloping side on one side of the house. You need something a little bit longer. Well, then you can buy an extra section to put on the bottom of it. You simply would take off the grip, slide that other section on, and then put the the grip. The other section will have a grip on it. That's it. And these these grips, by the way, while we have it off, I'll have holes in the bottom so that the pole hose can go straight up the pole. So this is made of the carbon and the fiberglass. What that translates to is a little bit more weight and a little bit more what they call deflection. Basically what it means is a little bit more bending. So when you have it all the way extended out there, it's going to bend a little bit more. It's hard to, to show you that to you uh, without having it fully extended. What we believe around here, you know, is that really in that 20 foot range, 27 foot range, this is a great pole. Works out real well, gives you much, much, much better rigidity. If you've only ever used aluminum poles, you won't believe the difference between this and say an aluminum pole. Then when you want to step so up. We'll call this the, the Gardner X27. This is the uh, CLX. That's CLX, yep. oh, I'm sorry, yep. CLX27. I'll put a link to this poll below in the video. Yep. As Great well price. as an entire kit that you have too Absolutely. that we're gonna unbox. It'll be in the link below. Okay. Yep, Absolutely. So then that pole is a 27 footer. Well then once you start getting up into that 27 foot and higher range, this is their SLX 35 foot pole. This is made of carbon fiber. It has the same concept of the sections that slide and telescope and clamp into place. So they can all be um, stretched out to the height that you need. At any joint you can expand it out. Obviously the top section is the thinnest one. So that's the one that you'd want to extend probably the least distance if you could because you're going to get the most bow from it. Incredibly rigid though. Uh, middle of the road as far as the weight goes. A little bit lighter than the CLX but a really popular pole. This is the one that we end up selling the most of in our market around here and around the country seems to be two-story house with so a walkout basement in the back. Maybe the owner of the house has a deck or something that comes out from the master bedroom, make it a little bit higher. You know, it's funny. I was using, I still have the Ettore Aqua Clean, but now I've got the Gardner Extreme 25 footer. And it, it didn't occur to me that I had 
15 to no, 25 extra feet of pole that I never even used. So it was all this extra weight when we were using it, you know, burning on your shoulders all summer. Then we transfer over to the Gardner 25 footer. It's perfect for two and even three story houses. It's like so lightweight. So yeah, it's amazing the amount of efficiency that you'll gain on the, in the job site. And really for the user, that all translates into your energy that you're losing out there uh, when you're using the poles. The last one that we'll talk about is their highest grade, which is the Extreme, and this is a 35 footer. It's made of what they call high modulus carbon fiber, which is a fancy word for basically it's been engineered and stretched and made a little bit more strong and a little bit lighter weight. So it's just a more refined product. Gives you great strength, but lighter weight. It's even more rigid when it's all the way extended than say the SLX. Sections don't really look much different, but they definitely feel lighter as a pole. Sweet. These are a great choice if you're into the luxury line of things and you just want to buy the one that's the lightest and the strongest, then that's a good choice. Also, really, we recommend and once you get up into that 30, 40 foot range, when you cross over about 40 feet, you're really going to notice the extra advantage and savings in energy that you get. If you think about uh, a teeter-totter, the further that you get, the weight from the one end to the other, the more force that's in the middle. If this is made of a little bit more rigid product, the further that you get out, the more important that's going to be. So the 47 foot version of this will conquer up to a five story building in most situations. It's fantastic. Guys are blown away with it. They'll actually add sections to that. We've had them using them up into the 70s and 80s. That's insane. Yeah, it's a crazy. It boggles your brain that just a few I years heard, ago there uh, was nothing I, to do with I it. I did get some of those prism glasses where you look and then you can see up. But I've heard like like binoculars or mm -hmm. is that sure? Yeah, you want anything you can do because you start to realize how high that is and how hard it is to look at the quality and inspect the quality of the work that you've done up that high. It's a big challenge. So, um, you know, binoculars can work. Really, when you notice as you get more experience with a waterfed pole. I just pictured a guy. He's like cleaning like the Sears Tower. But he's got <laughs> like a telescope. He's like. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> that might be a little extreme, but you never know. We might get there eventually, right? Uh, but the, the way that you'll notice the performance of the pole more than anything is you start to watch how the water behaves on the side of the window, and you start to get a pretty good idea of knowing whether it's been cleaned or not cleaned. But the one thing I wanted to accomplish today with all these lines is to introduce you to the Gardner line to say that there are basically three different compositions to their poles. This year in particular, we've had a great trend of window cleaners buying even the CLX and using it for their regular window cleaning tools. So if it's not a water fed thing, but still with the rigidity of the pole and the expense, if you're an owner operator, you know you're never gonna lose the pole. So you're gonna have it with you. For you to be able to be much more precise out on the job and not have the fatigue in your shoulders as much, it can be a great addition to your line uh, compared to putting a aluminum. squeegee directly yeah. on it right. for an extension pole. Yep, we have an adapter that goes to the top that allow you to put that in there, put the taper on the top of it, slap the squeegee on it. With all the zero degree techniques and the swivel techniques, it's so important to be precise with your edges that it seems to work out real well for folks. But we sell these as complete packages that have all of the hoses, brushes, everything that you need. The Gardner line's a good line. We keep them in stock as best we can. There's a variety of lengths available as well. And always remember that you can buy a shorter one, turn around and add sections to it later if you need it. We have all these in stock. If you ever buy in the area, we'll be happy to pull them out and show them to you and let you hold them in your hands. And uh, hope you make the best decision that you can when you go to purchase. Sweet. So if anybody wants to check it out, they can just go on the website, DetroitSponge.com. I'll put a link below. You can go on the website and you just ship it right out directly to their doorstep. Absolutely. Everything ships Wait. out by UPS ground. We try and ship things out within 24 hours. Dude, I ordered, when I uh, swap out my water-fed pole tanks, before I got the hydropower unit like this, you were like shipping me these like 60-pound tanks yeah. at UPS. Yeah, UPS is pretty good. We, we, we like having a relationship with UPS. They take care of a lot of it. They deliver stuff with good care. The local UPS drivers are real familiar with the areas, so we're, we're happy to be using them for a carrier, and they do a great job. Sweet, dude. Thanks for the demonstration, Mike. Appreciate it. You're welcome. And then the next video we're going to talk about. Yep, uh, about the water systems and how we get that water to be pure so you can wash the windows with it. And brushes, too. And brushes. All right, well. cool.